Hey, I'm Eric. We're on a mission to showcase the people, places, and charities that are using golf to change the world. Golf has the power to inspire. Golf has the power to unify. In May of 2020, as COVID was ravaging our world, I was unemployed and looking for a way to give back. I launched a charity auction in support of New York City Hospital frontline workers and raised over $100,000 in a week. And with it, Member for a Day was born. Since then, we've raised over a million dollars for charity and we're just getting started. That's not really Michael Jordan, that's me in my younger days. If I beat you, you have to make a donation to the American Cancer Society. Deal. But we gotta keep fighting. And we're doing that. Join us as we crisscross the globe, highlighting the best stories at the intersection of charity and golf. This is Golf for a Cause. Hey, I'm Eric Sedrance, and this is Golf for a Cause. We're out here in beautiful Arizona at Seven Canyons Golf Club, where I'm gonna be playing and painting with world-renowned golf artist, Lee Wybranski. Welcome to Sedona. Lee Wybranski is lucky to call Northern Arizona his home. And as if getting to golf and paint under these majestic red rocks wasn't enough, Lee has made a living traveling the world, painting golf's most iconic courses and events. Even more impressive than Lee's watercolors is his continued dedication and commitment to using his art to give back. So Lee, we're obviously here to play some golf, but we're also here to talk about charity and giving back. As you know, I created Member for a Day as a platform to raise money for charity through the game of golf. Um, and also you've done a lot of stuff as well to give back. And I'm curious to hear your perspective on this. Yeah, well, for me, it's, it's been very easy, uh, which is interesting. I mean, golf has a very long tradition uh, of raising uh, money for charities, whether it's through tour events or, or local programs or what have you. But, you know, compared to what you've done, which is build something from scratch, you know, I've always gotten contacts through the years, you know, would you mind donating a print for this or, you know, some artwork for that? So it's very easy for me to say yes to those types of things. Uh, I'm a big believer in karma too. I think when it's easy to help people out, you know, it's, a, it's an easy answer. We always say yes. That was crisp, baby. Right on it. Great shot. While Lee has always been charitable, in 2020, he stepped up to a cause that is near and dear to my heart. In the time that you've generated your business, you know, we've, we've done some other things uh, around COVID. We created a, a unique poster offering that raised money for first line workers in the very beginning, moved largely by the plight of New York City in the early days of this. And then uh, we've also done a ton of work with the First Tee through the years. Uh, we partnered with Justin Thomas uh, in the middle of uh, 2020 on another fundraising project for some of his important beneficiaries in Kentucky. Uh, so it's really been easy for us to, to partner with different organizations over the years. And, and I love doing it, you know, it's, a, it's one of the things that makes you feel connected to the world and to the community. Getting to play Seven Canyons with Lee was incredible, but I was about to step out of my comfort zone for an even more unique experience, as I traded in my golf clubs for paintbrushes and got a private lesson amidst the glowing red rocks from golf's greatest painter. All right, we're gonna have to move fast. The golden hour changes quickly, um, but those reds, uh, the rocks will stay red for a little while, so we should be all right. So you painted a picture when you were eight or 12 or something, you said, huh? It's been a few years. So this is a little eraser in case you need it. <laughs> Are you trying to say something, Lee? <laughs> we're both gonna be working fast and loose because that's what you do when you're outside. That's right. 
which is nice. It's one of the reasons I started plein air painting in the first place was in studio, I find, you know, there's a tendency to just get tighter and tighter and tighter. And, uh, you know, artistically or for golf, right? That's never really a good thing. So uh, when you work outside, because the conditions change quickly, you kind of need to move more quickly and be less hesitant. I mean, you've had to have gotten the Sedona red before, right? That's got to be I do be have like, like, I have, fortunately that's almost straight out of a tube. That's, uh, <laughs> Is almost. it called Sedona red? It's burnt sienna. <laughs> there you go. Best things happen in watercolor by accident, um, meaning simply that when the water kind of takes over and does its own things and colors merge together and, and you get things happening uh, as the paints meld and blend that you, know, you wouldn't necessarily be able to do on your own. There's points in the beginning of almost every single painting I do that I hate the painting. There's, there's a point where I just think it's the worst thing I've ever done and, and it's gonna be awful and I have like zero confidence that it's all gonna work out. Um, but then you just kind of work on through those periods and keep on keeping on and, and you know, pretty soon things start to come together and you're like, there's so many golf metaphors. I mean, maybe I've been doing this too long, uh, but you know, you just gotta not think too far ahead and concentrate on what you're doing and know that, you know, you stick to your routine kind of and, and things will come together. So I think given that the sun is setting behind these beautiful red rocks, we're going to just put some finishing touches on now and just make sure you got those uh, red rocks red enough. Yeah, I don't think I can get them red enough, <laughs> especially at this time of day. After an amazing day painting with Lee, leaving Sedona was bittersweet, but I was excited to get back on the open road as we continue on our trip in search of the best stories at the intersection of charity and golf.